Oh, hi everybody and welcome back to Not Another Bonsai channel. I'm actually really glad you joined me today because not only have I just been checking on some of my seed trays, just checking in for weeds and things like that, because of course you don't want them to grow on and, and take over your seed trays. But in this video, I thought what I'd do is I'll, I'll go back to those snake bark maple seeds that Jamie from Keeping It Koi sent me. And uh, I thought in this video, what I'd do is I'll show you how I plan to go about sowing them. Uh, where well, hopefully, you know, come next spring, we should end up with some nice little snake bark maple trees. Also, my main choice of medium, soil medium for germinating seeds is cocoa koi. And uh, usually that comes in blocks like this. So I do actually have a smaller block just down here. And it's, you know, nice to compact block. And all you would do is soak that in a bucket of water and in about half an hour to an hour's time, you'd end up with something that looks a little bit like this. Now for germinating seeds, this stuff is brilliant. Now it is inert, so it doesn't have any, you know, there's no nutrients or anything in this mix. It is just coco uh, coconut husk. But uh, for starting seeds, it's nice and airy. It's, um, it doesn't clog together when you water it and it does dry out quite fast. So uh, for starting seeds, this, is, this stuff is absolutely fantastic. So this is what I was gonna use for germinating my snake bark maple seeds. So you can see I just have a, a regular rectangle flower pot, nothing too fancy. These of course are my seeds. Uh, let's just take these out the envelope here and take a better look at them. So uh, filling the, the pot with this cocoa mix is just pretty straightforward. You just take it and put that in uh, just like so. Now, when it comes to different ways of sowing maple seeds, there seems to be several different schools of thought. Now, some just take the lazy man's approach and just throw them onto the, the soil mix, stick a little bit of a mix just on top, and uh, leave that for the, the winter and then come spring, you should end up with some little um, maple trees. Uh, others like to think a bit more methodical about it and they try to think about the flight of the seeds. So as they fall off the tree and they spiral down, they would land in the soil sort of like that. And so if that's the way that they're gonna land in the soil, you know, naturally, then that's the way that you'd wanna plant them in your pot. Now the truth is, really it doesn't make any difference which method you use, because if the seeds are viable and they're gonna germinate for you, they germinate whether or not you're methodical and you stick them in the soil one by one, or if you just take the lazy man's approach and just take them and throw them onto the soil and then just put a bit of soil on top. You know, either way, provided that they get water and they have the right stratification uh, time required, they should germinate fine for you. So I think I just add a few more seeds just to the top of this uh, mound of soil in here. Another one just in there and another one just in there. Now these are all fresh seeds. Uh, Jamie did say that he collected these from a tree in a customer's garden. And um, he's, I think he has tried them himself. He's, he's grown them himself. So I am confident that these are gonna germinate and hopefully come next spring, it should become some nice little snake bark maple seedlings. Right, so once your seeds are all placed just on top of your soil there, you just uh, take some of your cocoa mix, sprinkle it on top, just a thin layer just on top, just so that it covers all of the, the seeds. And that should be fine now, just to give that a good water, leave it over the winter time, and let it do its thing, and hopefully these seeds will germinate. Now, Jamie did say that the best way to germinate these, these seeds is if you follow the three month cycle. So if you do, if you uh, sow these seeds, leave them for three months where it's slightly warm, then put them somewhere cold for three months, and then finally put them somewhere warm for three months, then they should germinate absolutely fine. So my way of thinking was, I'm filming this at the end of October, so, if I uh, give this a good water, leave it indoors for the next three months. So that's going to take us to the end of January. 
uh, then by that stage, we should be right in the heart of winter. So then if I take these, these seeds, then bring them outside, they go throughout February, March and April, where in April, the temperatures should start rising again. And then by, by the time you get to May and June, you're really reaching the end of spring, summertime, where the temperatures should start to rise again. It should get nice and warm and hopefully these will germinate. So I'm hoping that my timing is, is correct with this and, uh, you know, come next summertime of 2024, we should have some nice little seedlings on the go. But before we go, we just have to give the seeds a little water, just like so, make sure all of that cocoa mix is nice and moist. All right, so before I take these indoors, it's very important that you create, you use an ID stick because uh, if you're growing several different types of uh, trees or seeds, that they're, you know, you'd be, it's easy to think that you know what, what is what now, but come next spring, and especially with my memory, I'm bound to forget. So very important, create a, a little uh, ID stick. So we create a nice little ID stick. So on here, we just put snake, bark, maple, just like so. And we put that just in the pot, just like so. Yes, yeah, so that's that. Um, th these are a new species for me. I've never grown snake bark maple trees before. Um, so thanks again, Jamie, for sending them to me. I do appreciate that. And I'm always willing to try new seeds. So uh, yeah, this is going to make for a fun experiment. You know, if, if you've grown these before, if, or if you have a snake bark maple as part of your collection, you know, please do let me know, you know, put a comment in the comment section below. Uh, you know, I, I do, I do read all of your comments and I do try to reply when I can. Uh, and uh, if you've had experience with these species of trees that I have in my collection and you can, you know, share your thoughts and opinions on, on what you do, you know, it, it is always welcome. I do take your, your opinions on board and I do, you know, try to apply them to what I do. And, you know, I do, I do listen to you. I really do. I really do. Um, but yeah, so as I say, you know, these are a first for me. So um, I'm just going by what Jamie's told me and just following the three month cycle. And yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, you know, come summertime of 2024, we have some nice little snake bark maples as part of our bonsai collection. Yeah, so that's all for today, guys. Uh, as always, thanks again for joining me and take it easy. Have a great day and I'll uh, see you on the next one.